Hi guys and weebs. I should probably put this down before I start. In a lot of my microacademia Zoom videos, I get a lot of comments of like, wow, that was a lot of wigs. Because like there will be like maybe like seven characters in that video and I'll cosplay all of them and have a different wig for each of them because, you know, different hair. Because anime where any possible hair color or look will happen so that you have to have a different wig for every single character. Yeah, I always find these funny because like that's such a small fraction of my wig collection that I've obtained over the years of cosplay. It takes up about two drawers of this um, shelf, which is just all costumes. Everything in here has to do with, with cosplay, and it's pretty full. But instead of saying that, I feel like it would be a lot more fun to show that. So now I'm going to try on pretty much every wig that I own in one sitting because I am in quarantine again, and there's nothing else for me to do. Hopefully some of you find this entertaining because this is gonna be very fun for me editing it later. I'm gonna ruin the like semi-decent hair day I was having by putting in a wig cap. There are like a lot of nice ways to like flatten your hair when you put in a wig cap and I don't do any of them because I started when I had like my hair all cut off and I never bothered to learn the nice way of putting longer hair in a wig cap. So I just like throw it on. Initially, I was gonna try to like do this in the order of which I bought the wigs, but this has been like three years or more, like like six years of cosplays. And there's no way for me to be able to tell what wig I got first. So this is just, I have them all on a pile on the floor and I'm just gonna do it in the order of which I grabbed the wig. Um, there are nicer ways to put wigs on, and I didn't do it just now. So this is green. Um, I think we got this for Mutsuki from Tokyo Ghoul Re back when, um, manga was still coming out. I honestly should cosplay them now that, like, people know who they are because of the god-awful anime. A lot of the characters of Tokyo Ghoul are very near and dear to my heart, especially, like, Heisei's little squad. Yeah, at some point it would be cool to have, like, a group and cosplay them. Although I, I feel like I would probably be Heisei because I am group mom. I tried to wear a shirt that like wouldn't clash with everything, but I don't know. I'm already starting to get like a little bit of wig hair on me from just the one wig, so we're... That's gonna be pretty shitty now. And here's Deku. It'll be weird wearing the guy's stuff without my like binder on because I'm very boobs right now, but whatever. Um, also very like feminine makeup. So this one's interesting. I bought a Deku wig, so this came as like green and black, but over the course of like cosplaying him, I'd taken apart about two other green wigs and sewn in their hair to make this more poofy and to have like different shades of green. So if you see like a lighter blue or green highlight in the Deku wig, that's why. I don't know if I'm 100% done with it. I'll probably still do more just to give it more of a flare. Yeah. Yeah, I really should have like tried to order them, but I just could not be bothered to do that. And the fact that this wig is our wig, this video is already gonna be like really long. Oh, this is like the first time I'm wearing this, isn't it? <laughs> um, a bit of backstory of this. This was bought when like a like, group of friends were planning to do like a sky high cosplay group of all like the weird niche things and i thought this would work for warren um we ended up not doing that group i'm um, doing that group cosplay so now i just have this weird uh red and black wig um so emo town right now uh smells new Nice new wig smell. This isn't that new actually. This is like a year old. Um, so this is a Nitsu from Demon Slayer. I haven't done a lot of Demon Slayer content on the channel so far. 
I think the only one I've like done, or I know the only one I've done a legit shoot for is Nezuko. Um, I've had the wigs for all the characters for like a, almost a year now, and right before quarantine, I bought a bunch of costumes because we'd planned, because we were on spring break that kind of coincided, like my college's spring break coincided with quarantine, and a group of us, um, my si me, my sister, and then the two um, people that we cosplay with, we were gonna go on this hike and bring the costumes in our bags, and then we'd change into the costumes and do like an impromptu shoot in like the middle of the forest, and it was gonna be really cool, and then quarantine happened. So I don't know when we'll do that, but I have all the costumes for it. So, I just walked out of the frame because I have my um, wigs on wig heads over there. Um, I'll, I don't want to tilt the camera to show you, so I guess I'll film a clip of it later. Um, this is present Mike, and he's kind of coming out of his like got to be glued waxed uh, ness. So you can kind of see more when I show my profile of like the amount of just spraying that went into this thing. Yeah, there's this is like the one of the ones I can only use for one character. I figured I'd get the wig heads once over with. Um, first, this is Emma from Promise Neverland. Um, this, I bought two Emma wigs and I took a, the second one apart in order to really fluff this one up. So this has the fluff amount of two wigs and hopefully it shows. I also have like a little red tail. I've been meaning to make a little ponytail too to come over the ear that she loses. Since it's actually the side that she loses. Oh, uh, anime spoiler, sorry. Because in the manga, she has like a little braid over um, where her ear was. This is Ice from The Promised Neverland. It would actually, if I'm wearing it properly, the braid goes like right over my eyes so I can't see. Um, she's only in the manga so far, so this, I guess this is the manga spoilers, but um, I've noticed that like no one had cosplayed her so far, um, and I wanted to make a cosplay for her, so I made a few TikToks as her. I've been meaning to do like a legit shoot, but I was gonna like want to finish more of like the costumes for the characters that she like is with in the manga in order to do that, so then we could take like a group photo, which again can't really happen right now, but yeah. And then here's Ray from the Promised Neverland. Um, zipping through a lot of my Promised Neverland, or three of the like specific Promised Neverland ones are the ones on the wig caps. So they needed like the most styling, um, or not wig cap, wig heads. I like to keep like the wigs that um would maybe get messed up if I put them in, in just squish in a bag on wig heads. I like had one from a while ago. I currently have my friend's wig head because they brought it to my house before a con and we forgot to get it back to them. And then the others I bought for like $2 at Savers during Halloween because they had a bunch of them. They had like a big bin full of it and I was like, I, I want so many of them. So I ended up like buying like four. Yeah, so here's, here's Ray. And here we have Glimmer from Shira. Um, to make this, I ended up taking a pink wig and the purple wig and cutting off half of each of them sewing them together um it took a little bit more styling too just to make it fall the right way um initially it was just like glimmer inspired because like an her initial haircut would have taken a lot to like do right but with how it falls now i feel like this is a bit more of a like accurate um portrayal of the cartoon I don't know, um, I'm meaning to cosplay her more, I was planning to at a con that was cancelled because of corona. I need to stop talking about that, I feel like I bring it up too much. I can just make a video during quarantine times without talking about how the world's ending. Um, but yeah, this is my glimmer wig. So here's Adora. I haven't put the ponytail on, I'll do that now. Um, yeah, I've gotten questions of like, where did you get your Adora wig before? Um, and honestly, like, I'll give, I'll tell, I'll give people the site, but they're not gonna get what this is, because this took a lot of styling in order to do the hair poof. This was initially a Princess Peach wig, and it had, like, like, anime girl bangs, and I styled it and sprayed it up. Right now, it needs a little bit more spray. It's being held on by a blonde bobby pin, but I sprayed it up to have, like, the hair poof, um, and then I kept a few of, like, the cut a bit longer to like pull in the back so it kind of gives the illusion of actually being tied back because the ponytail is adjusted or is like the ponytail is a different piece um yeah so this is adora 
from blondes to blonde hair is Kaminari. I did the like stripe with um I think eyeliner. I just drew in the, or maybe it was mascara. I drew in the the black because I did, it felt like it would look a little bit too fake if I had um like just pinned like fabric or something. I wanted it to actually be like on the wig. Um, which means that I can only use this for Kaminari, which is fine. Um, here's All Might for when I cosplay Small Might because I am not buff enough to cosplay powered up All Might. I got this one and it was on sale on like one of the wig sites I use. Um, just cause it was purple I figured I could use it for, um, Doki Doki Literature Club or like any other anime character that has purple, long-ish purple hair. There is a good handful. I haven't found much use for it though. I, I cut the bangs kind of weird too for this one. I think I cut it in haste just to film a video and then haven't really worn it since. So this is my not too great in quality black wig that has been mostly used for Keith from Voltron. Uh, once or twice, I think for Mikasa from Attack on Titan. So keep the bangs going this way. Ah uh, yeah, it's, it's not too great. It's seen better days. So here's Shigaraki. Um, I've only worn this wig once for Shigaraki. I'll probably cosplay him more to get some use out of this because I feel like just because of the like tone this is, I can't really use it for other blue haired characters. Okay, you guys have seen this one a lot. This was the Uraka wig. Um, when it came, like the long bits were very a lot longer than I have them now, but this ended up being like a better length for what I wanted to use it for. Explodey Boy. Oh, here's one we haven't worn much. I got this to cosplay Baz from Carry On. We're, we'll probably do that at some point again. I think I'm Simon now though. Uh, because this has been like the closest to having the look that we wanted with, we gotta like work with the stickity uppities though. It, it's a bit much right now. So this was initially for Connor from Dear Evan Hansen. I wanted to have the kind of like long curly hair for him since that was what the original actor's hair looked like. Um, here's Hugo from Promise Neverland's manga character. I think we'll probably meet him in season two though. I'm, I'm very excited for season two then I can start like posting all of my like um, manga character cosplay and then maybe people aside from the few who have read the manga and follow me will understand it. I feel like I've been doing this for a while but the pile of wigs I've, I've tried on and wigs I haven't, their sizes are just, just so different. Um, this is Death the Kid, <laughs> it's not a great wig. I think it's hard to do this hairstyle. Um, am I wearing it right now? It's hard to do his hairstyle because of the stripes, but I if I were to wear this again, I'd definitely style it a bit. I don't know why we never cut the like incredibly long just mullet that this has. Like we we made videos with this. Oh, there's a pin in it from just putting it back. I don't know why we never cut it. Because usually wigs will come like this. Um like you can't even see my eyes, it's kind of funny. Usually when wigs come like this, it's so you can cut it according to how you want it to fall on your neck. Um, but we just, I guess, didn't realize that in our, like, fetus days of cosplay. Wow. This is like, you could braid this. This wig is so long. Like, this is, this is too long for me to wear without just fear. Also, it's heavy. This wig has been through quite a lot and it really does show. She's not in great shape. She's very tangled. She's like one of the first long wigs I didn't take good care of. I wore her in a rainstorm, so there's that's most of what's wrong with her. Um, I got this one from Monica. I liked the sort of pinkish red that it is. Um, by pink, by red, I mean like ginger red. Uh, 
I think I might wear it for Asuka um, from Evangelion once I get around to cosplaying Evangelion. This is the Entrapta wig. It's usually in pigtails. Right now it's free. Um, it is very long, but it's very like frizzy. I, I really like this wig. It's very fun. So this one, all like a turn so you can see like the ponytail. Um, this is for Mitsuba from Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. He hasn't had his chance to be like worn on camera until now. It took a really long time for him to come. Um, I have the full costume. I'm just kind of like haven't made a video with him or taken down a photo shoot with him yet. Um, probably soon. Yeah, so this is the Catra wig. Um, I don't really like the way the hairline looks, so I prefer to wear this one all, like with the, the Catra crown thing. Um, but I like it a lot. It's it's very light for a long wig because it's so frizzy. Another Catra wig. I mean, this was already just a brown wig that I didn't really like because of like the way it kind of matted up here. Um, so I ended up like cutting it up to be Catra with her like new haircut. It's kind of choppy. This one is for Miraculous Ladybug. I haven't actually used it yet because around the time, like a bit after I got it, I kind of fell out of cosplaying that. I only cosplayed it a little bit. I probably will again um, once that I wasn't gonna talk about it anymore. Once the world's back to normal though, because I like to, the one time I cosplayed that, we went to like the mall and just kind of hung out there while in the cosplay and a lot of like kids got very excited for that. So I might like, I wanna do something like that again, but it'll have to wait until everything is safe. old ones it's from like the first time we cosplayed avatar was the azula wig didn't take care of it it was like a long cosplay day it's it's not it's not great i might try to like restyle it to try to salvage it but oh boy this yeah it's it's not in great shape right now i mean it looks like azula in the last episode so here's the you know gossip wig um this is also like in the era of the first wigs I got. It's, I mean, considering it's held up, I'm not sure if I use it to cosplay her again. I'm thinking of getting like another just generic long pink wig that I might use instead of this since this one has seen better days. We're maybe three fourths through guys. We're like, we're, we're getting there. I had two of these at one point um, for the Oron twins, and we restyled the other one, and I don't know where it went. I don't want to put this one on. It's the, oh god, the like it's not a bad smell, but the smell of like the hair wax is so strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Sebastian. It was initially a Mikasa wig, um, and then we last minute styled it for Sebastian for a con because I wanted to be CL and we had a like tux thing. I had like a, a, a suit tail thing that I like got at Hot Topic ages ago. So we put um, my friend in, in that one so then they could be Sebastian since they have that kind of like tall stature and also used to be a big fan of the show. Um, but yeah, so I styled this on their head before the con. Um, you know, it looked good for the con. It stayed in the, like, little Sebastian, like, clumps for the con. I don't know what it looks like now. Is this Armin or Cat Noir? I won't know until it's on my head. I think it's Armin. Looks like Armin. This is one of the earlier, just, brown ones, and it wasn't taken care of very well, and you can tell. I'm finding so many wig caps that just stayed in the wigs. 
it's kind of itchy. This is the OG Bakugo wig because I was dumb and ordered a wig that was like a too brown for Bakugo, but we used it for like a good while until I got the better one. Um, and now it's just kind of whatever blonde character, like sandy hair blonde. I wanna cosplay, I use this one for. Okay, so this is the Toga and the Harley wig. Um, I'm just gonna put on the Toga version because putting the Harley um, clips in takes too much time. But these are the, the Harley extensions. I basically pin it to the inside of the wig in order to do the Harley pigtails. So this one is an old Party City wig that I'm gonna keep until I get a better platinum blonde wig to cosplay Draco Malfoy with. Um, not that I cosplay him a lot, but I'm gonna hold on to this one until I have a better one. Um, but as you can see, it's, um, it's having a day. These bangs just always give me issues. And we have the last one, ladies and gents. Probably mostly ladies. This is the Newt Scamander one. I got it for Simon Snow though, um, but I've used it for Newt. I've used it for a handful of things actually because it's just a really nice wig. Like this is one of my favorites, honestly. Oh, I have a little bit of pink sticking out. <sighs> Man, I am. Um, exhausted so um i wasn't counting because there was too many for me to keep a number in my head but editor me will be counting so i guess you'll see the number on the screen right now of the amount of wigs i guess this is not counting my giant rapunzel wig which i'm not going to put on now sorry also not counting the norman wig that my friend has um so we can like facetime as the promised neverland characters um, cause I, so I lent that one to them, and, yeah, so aside from that, that is all the wigs. So why did I make this video? Uh, partially because I thought it would be funny and I like to torture myself. Um, I didn't make it just to, like, flex on the amount of wigs I have or make you guys feel bad for my wallet, um, given the amount it has been drained for wigs. All the ones I've bought are pretty affordable, but it kind of stacks up over the years. And this is why I have a Patreon now. Um, and also, yeah, because like a good amount of my like personal paycheck goes to cosplay. But I mean, it's, it's, that's not a bad thing. I feel like it's the same amount of like that someone else would spend on like other like hobbies or things that they like that I'm trying to like think of hobbies that normal people have. Um, and I, I can't, but yeah. Yeah, so the point of this video, um, I think partially just to like, I mean, not, not to show off, but also a little bit to show off like just the arsenal I've, um, built of costume or of just wigs. I, I guess I could do something with costumes later, but that would be like even more of a nightmare to put on every costume I have. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see that. But yeah, to kind of like show that just like, not just for me, but for all cosplayers, just because like there's one cosplay that you know them for that's usually just the tip of the iceberg. Um, for me, that's like with My Hero Academia, when it seems like like just that is a lot of wigs, that's really the very, very tip of the iceberg, and there's a lot more wigs. And up on costumes and characters that um, have gone into me cosplaying. I, it's, it's very hot in here, I have the AC off so I can record without like the sounds of death in the background. I need to turn that on and put all of this back in the drawer. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, well, I won't, I won't see you, you'll see me because that's how this works. Bye.